But bearing in mind you've just put a huge amount on none. Give me two seconds. Right. Britain is at war. Many areas of the country are being attacked from the air. And your task today is to take C-18 and move 8 X World War One Twelve Howitzer railguns to Bath to help with the anti-air defence. The Howitzers are very heavy and are unbraked, so even with a central brake van, you will need to allow lots of time to slow down, and should not go faster than forty. They are currently in a siding brazed down, so wait for the War Department supply train to pass, then move forwards onto the main line. Okay, so we can come out of that. Start the uh, air rain off again. We'll just start sliding, sliding forwards. Uh, you and Jill, good, brilliant. Uh, the other one's really great, lovely. Another bet for non. Quite a few bits for non actually. Right, we should now be able to go. So, so tap the signal on it so it doesn't tap, so it must be. Right. Yeah, no, I do like the uh, the air raid in this game. Really can't really see. It's a really good effect. I'm going to start building the fire up. Right, carry on to braze down. As you approach, slow down, and you will see the howitzers on your left. Pass them on the main line, and then stop and reverse uh, onto them and couple up. because there's no light in it. Why do people not put lights in their engines? It's extremely hard to drive in the dark when there's no light. But then again, I guess this is blackout, so... Even though it's 10 in the morning. West tornado silence are scary. Is the air raid going to be the whole time? I don't know, I've not played this scenario. ARP checks put that light out. I'm afraid it's a fire and I need it. Right, here we have our howitzers. Oh, there, there's the central brake van. Still going a bit too fast. But we're okay. Let's put some sand down as well, that would slow us down a bit quicker.
Southern Loco lovely. Mm. Yeah, that'll arrange to be seen. Right, have we got the road back? Yes, we have. Nice whistle on it, though. Hey, Laurie, welcome. Captain Mainwaring, yep, that's me. Captain Mannering. Don't panic. Are we, are we now going to have a whole uh, Dad's Army theme scenario? The cylinder drains. The cylinder drains are closed, Scotsman. Don't know why you're shouting the cylinder drains at me. Well done, now take them to Bath to help with the air defence there. Be aware the howitzers are very heavy and unbraked, so allow plenty of time to slow down and stay under 40. Time to move. No, not that way. I did open them and close them, Mr. Scotsman. They just don't seem to be sim uh, simulated. See anything? I don't know what's open and what's closed. So 
try we've tanked the boiler, but it's okay because we're limited to 40 anyway. Ed told you the fire mass was 1404, so yeah. Nice and quiet out here. Yeah, Red must have finished. If we reach the let's slow down speeds. Right, we're going down the hill. I'll get us some speed back. Yeah, they're after me for bad driving. Pretty nice. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's pretty cool. The attacking plane is set fire to the ammo crate on the low on the last howitzer. After some quick thinking, you realise that the next safe place to drive it off is a remote siding at Midford. Get the train to Midford Siding 3 and get the last howitzer uncoupled there. The siding is just after the 30 mile an hour speed limit. You have six and a quarter minutes. Uh, okay, so what's that? 17.45. I do like that. That's pretty cool. I wonder how they did that. You feel the fail coming, yeah, so do I. Where is Midford? Two miles.
gonna let it go, I think. Trigger event in lure. Yeah, but I wonder how they've then got, because that wasn't smoking before. So I wonder how they've managed to get that to then smoke. about half of our time. We need to start trying to slow down now for this stop, which will be about here. Siding. Remember we got to seventeen forty five. Could I run the E2? Do I have uh, the E2? No. I don't know. If I've got it, I might do. Can't help but think this isn't the greatest of plans. Hey, Ed. Uh, no, it probably isn't. What, what they would actually do is run it under um, water. Cover it in water, put it out. Right. Did that change, or do I need to change that myself? No, that changed. Good. Right, we have less than a minute. In fact, we have 45 seconds. I've run it before on Steam. Oh, the Thomas E2. Yes, I have. You're right. Right, I made that Midford siding. I made that at the end of the train. Disappear. Right. Now get out of here. Yeah, I intend to. Forget using brakes. Let's go. Because it eats all the way, good. That's gonna go kaboom! Either that, stop. Drop the howitzer and make sure nothing can come the other way. 
which is what we've done. Yeah, the, the most likely thing to do for it would have been, um, I think there was a station that we passed actually that had a water spout. Phew, that was pretty close. Now get these howitzers to bath as quick as you can. I'm surprised that hasn't gone bang. I'd have, I'd, I'd have made that go bang. Yeah, that, that is true. Maybe less damage to the main line. But yeah, you want rid of that thing as quickly. If you can't fix it, you need to get rid of it. Is the basic idea. Hey Ben, welcome back. Um, I actually want to make a similar scenario using that type of asset on the uh, thing in the jigs line. Uh, yeah, the south, the, the river, the, river, Riviera 50s line. And the premise of that will be you've got to stop in the tunnel. Hell, are we? Answer no. Come on. Don't let me down now. Literally four foot to the left. It's not going to make much difference. There it takes out the siding with it, if I look at the viaduct. Yeah, I can see your point. Ed, you didn't write this scenario, did you? this hill. is um, you've got a, a load of GWR vans and you have to stop in the tunnel so as then you don't get hit which is why it's quite interesting to see how they did that um, Vans. 
imagine the wagon has an emission on it which is activated by a process message sent via the local script. I didn't realise that you could activate them and deactivate them. That's what I'm going to have to have a look into. really loud in that tunnel. There was a lot of echo. 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 Right, we're approaching the 40. We're okay. For a bit. There we go. We're going to let it run as they did. Did I remember about the brakes? Yes I did. I know we're limited to 40. I'm just trying to get this to drop a little bit because I need that to say 26. quality is plummeting. Let's have one of them off there, there we go. Done. And we're down to 30 far too soon. You may need to request permission to pass the signal ahead, so press tab. Press tab, no I don't. Cheating, handbraking is cheating. <laughs> well, technically, I could put the guard one on because there is a guard. And how am I supposed to, to do that when coming down the hill, the brake on the loco won't stop the train? You just got a guard who's very agile at running down the train. Right, and into siding 12. Signal of danger approved. And then into the siding. Hooray! Creep down at 25 mile an hour. 
Should we claim hacks? No. There was nowhere in the instructions that said I couldn't use the handbrakes. Uh, N-Rails, hello, welcome. How am I? I'm very well, thank you. Everyone's claiming hacks on the scenario. I think they're just all jealous of my advanced driving skills. <laughs> yeah, whatever. How are you, N Rails? Bearing in mind we came for an air raid. You're good. Is this an Ed approved buffer stop? N Rail said 10 out of 10. Minus, se minus 72 points? Pah. That was a bit of an adventure. Go and get a well deserved cup of tea. You've helped the war effort today. And that means I still get no medal. Boring. That is usual for British Railways. Right, no medal. Everybody who said none gets double points. I'm going to stop doing these things because we all know that I can't drive. 